All right, what's going on guys? We are here working on a Linux heat pump. This is an upstairs unit. We've got 5kW of heat and we have a blower that's not coming on. The homeowner said that the fan stopped blowing air out of the vents. And if you see in that back corner, we have an ice cube relay. And I've got a replacement up here because I know the thing's bad, but I thought I would try to film a video on it here. So on these ice cube relays, this is a double pole, double throw, and you've got two identical sides here. This is kind of like your all-purpose White Rogers Brown relay, but it's just in a different configuration. And you have your two sets of identical contacts. You've got a set over here and a set over here. The two terminals down at the bottom are 24 volts. From the top, down to the bottom is normally closed. The normally open is from the middle down to here. And both sides are identical. This is normally closed and this is normally open right here. And if you look at it from the side, you can kind of figure out what's going on. If the camera will focus, there's your contacts. And you see that there is like a brass plate going right over here and it goes through that gray wire down to the bottom so you can actually physically see this one where you can't on a brown relay you can see that set of normally closed contacts right there and when you energize the coil which is that blue thing that top pad is going to pull down to the middle and it's going to make that set of normally open contacts go closed so if you look in there you can kind of see what's going on so what we've got going on here, if we look over here on the right hand side of that, you've got two black wires. So the black wire with the white plastic shield on it, that is the wire that is actually bringing our constant power to that terminal on the relay. And when we energize the coil on the bottom, which we have the blue and the yellow wires, that's our common in 24 volts. It is gonna close that set of contacts and this top black wire right here is going to the blower and it's gonna turn the blower on. Then over here on this side, this is what is gonna make the blower with the emergency heat through the sequencer over here. Whenever that sequencer closes, it's gonna send power through that red wire to the normally closed contacts because remember we said the bottom and the top are normally closed and it's going to send that power through that yellow wire and power that speed of the blower motor but we're not getting any of that so luckily our thermostat is located right here nice and conveniently and if we flip our blower to on we're getting nothing now if i can get in here without shorting anything Give me just a second and I'll show you that we've got 24 volts over here. Man, you talk about hard and one handed. That's a tough spot to get to. Hang on. We're getting there. Alright, so there, I'm on. The coil down on the bottom and we have verified that we do have our 28 volts so that side over there with those black wires should be closed and it's not so we're not getting any blower motor blower motor that way we we'll move this stuff out of the way so now we're going to check the electric heat side of things so we're going to go to emergency heat we're going to flip to heat here our temperatures up so now we should be the blower coming on through this yellow fan speed and we'll hear a click up here and I'll show you with our amp draw here in a second we're going to get a click and we're going to turn on a heater but there's not going to be any blower come on with it. because that set of contacts is malfunctioning also. So there, we just got a click. Right there's a heater and no blower. 
you can hear the hum of the heater back there so that set of contacts has malfunction also so we're malfunctioning on both sides okay so now here's what we're going to do we're going to kill our power and we're going to switch our meter back to continuity as ted calls it the dummy beeper man i love me some continuity i guess that makes me a dummy <laughs> so i'm going to pull these wires off over here and again this is our fan with electric heat so these terminals are our normally closed top to bottom so let's check our continuity here let me touch my lead okay so our meter is in continuity we've got tone and now we're going to go from the top to the bottom and i'm touching those right now and there is no beep so we have malfunctioned right there now look what happens if i go from this bottom over here where the the shielding is that white shielding on that bottom wire and then i'm going to touch the top now we've got tone so the normally closed side on the right is working but the normally open side is not closing and then over here on the left the normally closed side is not working so I don't know if any of that made any sense whatsoever. That is a bunch of normally closed, normally open mumbo jumbo. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take one of our little brass terminals and I'm going to jump out a wire and I'm going to show you that the blower is coming on. I'm pretty confident it's going to because it does spin freely. No problems. It's not stiff at all and our capacitor is good. And I'm so confident in this that I have already dated the relay that we're going to replace it. We've got one up here, but let's go ahead and jump that motor out and see what happens. So give me just a second. All right, you guys. So what I'm going to do, I have pulled my black wire off of the right hand side. I could have jumped those two together because then the motor would immediately come on. But what I'm going to do is just put my black wire down here so I've removed that black fan speed. And I'm going to jump these two up here. We're going to go ahead and give her power back. Now the motor is not going to come on right now. If I would have jumped the blacks, it would be running. But this is waiting on our power from our sequencer through that red wire. So now we're going to come back out here and we're going to do our electric heat again so we're on emergency heat our light is on we're back to heat our temperature is up and now we'll give that sequencer a second to get there we go all right so let's go to amps on our meter and right there is our blower running at 1.4 and a couple of seconds we'll have a heater come on there we go there's a heater so we know that this blower is working and everything is going to be just fine if we swap that relay out so let's go ahead and de-energize all this we'll let that heater cool off there for a second and then we'll kill our power and we're going to swap that relay out. Alright, so the heater is off. The fan will stay on for another few seconds. Let's make that light quit flickering. Of course, I can't see the flicker. You only see that on the phone. 
Okay, so we're going to go ahead and kill our power, ready to change our relay. But one more time on the new relay, let's just check that up here. So we're going to go back to continuity. All right, always check your leads, make sure that your meter is working. So we've got a beep. And let's look up back up here again. So these were our normally closed, right? the bottom and the top so there's our tone there we've got an identical set over here so there's those now if we go from the bottom to the middle you see we've got nothing there no tone so bottom to the middle no tone because those are open right now now I did see a guy in a video. I wish I could claim that as my own idea, but I saw another guy do that. You can take a 9-volt battery and touch the bottom two terminals on this type of relay, and you can close that to test it, like out at your truck. So that's pretty cool. You can try that sometimes if you don't believe it. Just touch the coil down there with a 9-volt battery, and it'll click those things right closed, and then you can make sure and verify that your middle and bottom are closing but we are going to go ahead and dig back in here and get that relay out of there and we're going to swap that thing out and this unit will be fixed all right you guys so just wanted to show you that diagnosing that bad ice cube relay back there if you have any questions leave me a comment below like and subscribe and I will catch you next time.